Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unmanned, Bristow Group buys over Air Butterfly Ebitol. Also, James Webb Space Telescope is on its way to discovery, and UAVionics achieves 25 mile beam loss connection. Welcome to the Air News Network's Airborne Unmanned program, a weekly news program covering all things unmanned in partnership with AUVSI, the Association for Unmanned Vehicle Systems International. Thank you for joining us. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. Bristow Group buys over air butterfly eVTOL. Bristow Group, a vertical flight solutions company, has pre purchased a batch of the as yet unmade butterfly eVTOL aircraft from over air. Along with the deal, the two companies agreed to explore commercial aerial taxi service in emerging, densely populated markets. Over Air is yet another entrant into the burgeoning urban air mobility market, boasting a five-seat, intercity quad-rotor efficient metro runabout. The company combines the forces of chief engineer Abe Karam with Korean defense contractor Kanwa Systems, combining his large body of aeronautical experience with the company's stout funding. The company has already found a series of investments, ultimately garnering about $150 million between military and private partnerships. Some reports had placed initial propulsion tests towards the end of 2021, but over Air's expansion in its Santa Ana, California headquarters is the only recent corporate development of note. The butterfly is slated to have a 2025 path to FAA certification in the company press, which could now see some acceleration with the addition of Bristow's expertise. The helicopter specialist is said to bring developmental assistance for flight planning procedures, data sharing, vehicle monitoring strategies, design considerations, key performance parameters, maintenance protocols, infrastructure, Structure and fleet management. Coming up after these messages, Eve Air Mobility signs deal with SkyWest Airlines. Details after the break. Whether you're charting a steady course or pushing for the ceiling, Hartzell Propeller has been elevating flight for over 100 years. It's in our passion for engineering and research. It's in our dedication to testing the limits of performance and creating propellers that are as safe as they are sexy. Now, together with our dedicated family of companies, we're propelling the future of aviation. We are Hartzell Propeller, built on honor. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyLeader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. I believe that if people use the Landing Doctor Training Program, they will have less accidents and eventually their insurance will go down and they will make a superior pilot. We do personal limitation checklists, which is the most important reason you need to fly with limits. We do ground proximity awareness training, and we do this with a crosswind. We've been operating six Bristels for two years without one insurance claim. The Landing Doctor program is working, and you're going to hear more about it. Welcome back. In the next Unmanned Minute, let's take a brief look at a few of the shorter stories that are making the rounds of the unmanned vehicle communities. Japan joins development on Ehang EH216. China's Ehang has secured its first order of its recently announced aerial vehicle, the fixed-wing, longer-range VT-30. The company has also made headway on its smaller, multi-rotor EH216. Beginning field tests with local partners in Japan to explore use cases for both its two-seater EH216 and VT30 in an urban air mobility network in Japan. Ehang's new partner, the Okayama, Kurashiki, Mizushima Arrow and Space Industry Cluster Study Group, will provide some refinement to the design process. Rotax releases service bulletin. Rotax released a mandatory service bulletin for its 582 UL engines, stating that a limited number were assembled with non-matching crankcase halves. For continued operation, inspection is needed to ensure the correct installation of the crankcase. 
Released in 1989, the 582 UL is a two-stroke, two-cylinder, liquid-cooled aircraft engine. Production ended this year. Much like with any other vehicle power plants, the engine has seen waning popularity in the face of cleaner burning, less high-strung four-stroke engines as technology improved. EVE Air Mobility signs deal with SkyWest Airlines. Sustainable Embraer subsidiary EVE Air Mobility has had a busy week signing a deal with SkyWest for a non-binding letter of intent to purchase 100 of EVE's eVTOL aircraft once ready for deployment. The MOU will see the two companies work to develop a portfolio of services to optimize eVTOL performance in a selection of early adopter metro areas. They will dedicate a composite team to urban air mobility flight options with the first order of business focused on Vertiport specifications and integrated vehicle design as well as a certification roadmap for eVTOL operations. FAA OKs Camden Spaceport The United States will open its newest rocket launch site with the addition of Camden County, Georgia's upcoming spaceport Camden. The former alternate for the Apollo program has resumed its place in the aerospace landscape with the issuance of a launch site operator license by the FAA. The multi-user vertical lift commercial launch site can see as many as 12 small launches per year in current shape. The addition of the 13th licensed spaceport in the USA is also the third to be operated on the East Coast. That was our Unmanned Minute. Now back to the rest of the news. Finally, James Webb Space Telescope is on its way to discovery. NASA's James Webb Telescope launched at 7.20 in the morning Eastern Time Saturday on an Ariane 5 rocket from Europe's spaceport in French Guiana, South America. A joint effort with ESA and the Canadian Space Agency, the Webb Observatory is NASA's revolutionary flagship mission to seek the light from the first galaxies in the early universe and to explore our own solar system as well as planets orbiting other stars called exoplanets. Ground teams began receiving telemetry data from Webb about five minutes after launch. The Ariane Space Ariane 5 rocket performed as expected, separating from the observatory 27 minutes into flight. The observatory was released at an altitude of approximately 75 miles. Approximately 30 minutes after launch, Webb unfolded its solar array and mission managers confirmed that the solar array was providing power to the observatory. After solar array deployment, mission operators established a communications link with the observatory via the Malindi Ground Station in Kenya and Grand Control at the Space Telescope Science Institute in Baltimore sent the first commands to the spacecraft. Coming up after these messages, UAVionics achieves 25-mile BVLOS connection. Those details after the break. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 Remote Pilot Certificate or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. Pilot Communications USA is proud to introduce our latest headsets, the Carbon A1 Active Noise Reduction and the Carbon P1 Passive Headset. Carbon fiber makes our headsets 30% lighter than others, which significantly reduces pilot fatigue. Our Blue Link hand control unit allows you to connect two devices at the same time, and the record out capability can send audio to an onboard camera or digital recorder. Get the headset that's so light you may forget you're wearing one at pilot-usa.com. At Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com.
Welcome back, UAVionics achieves 25 mile beam loss connection. UAVionics has finished the first phase of development of their new Skylink control and non-payload communications for drone operation on safety critical beyond visual line of sight missions. The completion flights were done at a range up to 25 miles at the Northern Plains UIS test site in Grand Forks, North Dakota. The command and control systems will utilize C-band comms in a departure from the majority of commercial unmanned systems, utilizing ISM or 4G networks when needed to address a lost C2 link. The BVLOS waivers granted by the FCC are the first step towards robust, capable public safety drones, allowing long-range control with multiple fail-safe modes that could leverage the presence of various networks for backup. In its current form, the Skylink CNPC radios and the paired Skyline application are entirely focused on preventing lost links through aviation-grade software and hardware design, they said. The system also contains network management systems to monitor network and radio link health so administrators can gauge the patency of their uplink moment to moment. Christian Ramsey, president of UAVionics, said, We maintained a stable connection at a range of well over 25 miles at a 400 feet operating altitude with a DO 362A compliant radio system, a first of its kind. That does it for our show today. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. You can catch episodes of Airborne on Roku and Fire TV. Just search for Air News or Airborne in the directory. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.